in the days, most of the time, you would wait for someone to make the first move. It might be on the first date, it might be the third date, whatever. It right. could be the man, it could be the woman. But now, all my friends have noticed that the man has stopped making the first move. All my girlfriends are like, they're waiting, it's the third date, fourth date, a week later, he hasn't gone in for the kiss, he doesn't do any touching or anything, and I've asked my dude friends that are single, right. and they are like, you don't know where a woman's gonna go with that story, and where I ain't touching nobody. And it kind of, it sucks, because, the Me Too movement is so strong and so so powerful for the people that need it, but it shouldn't ruin the maturity that we should have within intimacy and relationships. Men trying to approach women is a minefield. Let me tell you some crazy statistics. According to a survey, 77% of women aged 18 to 30 say they wish they were approached more. In a different survey, 86% of women want men to make the first move. However, 82% of women also reported experiencing creepy behavior from men regularly and 20% of people aged 18 to 29 believe that a man inviting a woman out for a drink constitutes sexual harassment. Women say they want to be approached but also say they think being approached is creepy. Not only that, you also have a huge chunk of society who thinks that a man inviting a woman out is literally sexual harassment. That's a basic dating gesture, but now it's rape apparently. Men, is it any surprise that 55% of single men aged 18 to 30 say they haven't approached a woman in the last year? Men have stopped approaching women because it's become painful at best and dangerous at worst. Popular media is portraying this as some crazy confusing situation because they're only listening to women. Society does not care about men. Women are complaining that men aren't approaching them and that's all that's being reported. And because women are depicted as the victim, everyone listens to their side of the issue. What they're completely leaving out is that approaching women has become a roll of the dice. You either get one of the good women left out there, which is highly unlikely, or you get screamed at by her and her friends for being creepy. And at worst, you get accused of sexual harassment and it gets put on your permanent record for life. But before we go any further, let me share the comment of the day. Shout out to Robert Playdell, who said, Never underestimate a woman's ability to overestimate her worth. Well said, Robert. Well said. Please, don't forget to reach out to us by email to claim your $5. As usual guys, I'll pick one comment from each video. It may be the funniest, the most liked, or one that touched me, so don't forget to leave a comment and you may be our next winner. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons too as it helps a lot. Now back to the video. Embrace your masculinity. Men have had enough. They're finally giving the feminists what they say they've wanted for the past 10 years. For men to leave them alone. Men are bad. Masculinity is toxic. Guys only want one thing. We wish they could all just leave us alone. Well, now we're doing that, and they aren't happy about it. Men have taken the hint, and now we aren't approaching women anymore and giving them their sweet, precious validation. When you think about it, this is quite funny. The fat, ugly, blue-haired feminazis got angry about men being creepy in public, even though they were never the ones being approached, so they campaigned hard to stop men from approaching women. We listened and stopped, and now it's created this TikTok shitstorm and ruined it for the women who desperately needed the validation. It's as if there's a civil war in the sisterhood where they can't decide on what they want or what they stand for. Modern women say they hate men approaching them, so they go on TikTok and tell men to stop. And then, some other modern women will go on TikTok complaining that no men are approaching them, and saying, where have all the real men gone in the process? Classic female shame tactics. They're so confused, they don't know which way is up anymore. Well, there's a reason why men aren't approaching women anymore. To anyone with half a brain, the reasons are painfully obvious. I've experienced how much of a shit show the dating market is firsthand. One night a few years ago, I was out at a bar with my friend when a woman caught my eye. Usually, I would never approach a woman, 
it's just not worth it. But at this point, I was going through a long dry spell and I was feeling unusually confident that night. It wasn't the booze, I promise. She was even making pretty consistent eye contact until it was obvious there was a vibe, or so I thought. Encouraged by my friend, I struck up the courage to start walking over there to talk to her. When I got over, I simply said hi, and her reaction was insane. Her eye contact turned from curiosity to pure disgust. She threw a drink in my face and pushed me away screaming, get the fuck away from me. It caused a scene. Everyone stopped talking to look over at us. The bouncers came over and grabbed me by the arm, escorting me out of the club. I was so shocked I couldn't say a word. I'm not making this up or exaggerating either. I was too nervous to seem like a threat. All I said was hi, and I got kicked out of the bar with gin and tonic poured on my favorite shirt for it. I'm not saying this kind of thing happens all the time. I was just unlucky enough to come across a complete sociopath. But this explains why men aren't approaching women. This kind of thing never happens to women. A woman could approach any man she wanted and she would never get mistreated. She could even walk up, grab a guy's dick, and the bouncers wouldn't kick her out. She'd get away with it every time. And women still expect men to take the risk in this man-hating society? Screw that. Why should we? All the risk is on men. Why don't women approach? Because that requires effort, and modern women are so used to having things done for them that they aren't used to it. And this won't change anytime soon. Let's be honest. But remember, women still expect men to make the first move. Well, I'm sorry ladies, you'll be waiting a very long time. Men have taken the hint that you didn't want us to approach you, and now we won't. And there's one thing you've got to thank for that, and that's the Me Too movement. The Me Too movement convinced an entire generation of women that the vast majority of men are creepy, perverted sex offenders. And you wonder why nobody approaches you anymore? Do you know the percentage of men who have never committed sexual assault and in all probability never will? That figure is 99.83%. That's right, 99.83% of us are not rapists. But that didn't stop you from creating an entire movement around depicting men as rampant sexual abusers. And now, you've successfully convinced women. This is one of the main reasons we don't approach you guys anymore. And that's not the only impact the Me Too movement has had. It's also screwing up academia too. So a paper came out recently that looked at the impact of the Me Too movement on academia, and it actually shows that post Me Too, women's productivity fell largely due to fewer collaborations with male researchers. The paper shows that this drop is most pronounced at universities where the perceived risk of sexual harassment accusations is highest. So the actual findings comparing research before and after the movement are right here. And as you can see, after the Me Too movement, collaborations with male researchers inside the same institution fell to close to zero. The author points out that men feel like if they accidentally say the wrong thing, they could be canceled or fired. She also notes that institutions that have clear policies on sexual harassment help reduce this perceived risk. And this isn't just in academia. The paper also cites a 2018 study which showed that 60% of male managers are uncomfortable participating in common activities with women due to the same concerns. And a curious finding of the study was that men make up for the loss in this collaboration by just collaborating more with other men, whereas women don't make up for it at all. But the author concludes her findings by saying that Me Too was important for raising awareness, but it's also increasingly important for institutions to have really clear sexual harassment guidelines. Me Too drove a wedge between men and women. Women crippled society to catch Harvey Weinstein. Don't get me wrong, that guy is the devil. But no woman ever said enough is enough. I didn't hear any of the women coming out afterwards and reminding women that most men are safe. That never happened. One of the reasons men aren't approaching anymore is because it's straight up brutal. This is something most women will never be able to understand. Women are the gatekeepers of sex. Men are the gatekeepers of commitment. This means that to secure a relationship, a man needs to endure tons of rejection in order to develop a sexual relationship with a woman. Nobody ever prepares you for the sheer level of rejection you face as a man. Nobody teaches us how to approach, date, or deal with rejection. These are basic life skills, but men don't get taught how to do it. We're just expected to know how to do it with no guidance, and we're punished with rejection and loneliness if we don't. Most men have experienced the pain of rejection before. For most guys, it happened in high school, college, or even earlier than that. 
And let's not downplay what a rejection means. When a woman rejects you, she's essentially saying, your genes are not good enough for me. Honestly, when everything about you has been rejected countless times, it's extremely hard to keep putting yourself out there just to get rejected by delusional modern women. Eventually, you just decide as a man that the juice isn't worth the squeeze. And if you think about how things are going and what modern women are becoming, that juice is sour. We haven't even touched on the impact that social media has had on the dating market. These days, it's entirely possible for you to approach a woman just to end up on TikTok for being a creepy stalker. Modern women have no problem doing this to a man. They couldn't care what kind of damage it would cause, as long as she gets her sweet TikTok clout. Honestly, all of the hoops a man has to jump through just to get some attention from a woman who's fake, shallow, and superficial means one thing. Modern women aren't worth it. They're being exposed. And this brings me to another reason why men aren't approaching. They've quietly left the dating market. Women all over the West are screaming on TikTok desperately trying to find a reason why all the men have disappeared. The fuckboys and chads have pumped and dumped her so she's still alone. She's wondering where the good men have gone. I'll tell you, you rejected all of them in your 20s so you could bang your way around with no consequences. Well, guess what? you're experiencing the consequences right now. Too many women rejected too many of the good men and now they want them back. But those men haven't forgotten. They've realized that the dating scene is a train wreck. Modern feminism is a toxic, poisonous cult that's infected Western women with a venom that's made them insane. And it's only going to get worse. Unless women wake up collectively and start taking accountability. Don't expect things to improve. And accountability and responsibility are something modern women are allergic to. So don't hold your breath, gentlemen. Is it just me? Yes. Is it just me or do men not approach women anymore? Like, I'm not the approaching type. I can't approach anyone. But I saw some fine, fine men. Did you see some? I did. Yeah, we just went to... Uh, black on a block in Texas. Saw some gorgeous men. But none of them approached me. And I can't, I'm not the approaching type. I can't do it. But if you approach me, I am nice. I'm just about to be single for forever. You wonder why men no longer approach. Well, do you modern women give men any incentives to approach you? Usually, when men leave the dating market, they focus on their careers, hobbies, fitness, and finances. They focus on getting better, which is something women absolutely hate because a powerful man is a man they can't control. But other than that, a man who's walked away wouldn't entertain a relationship ever again. Now there's another option that's rapidly gaining popularity. This is the rise of the passport bros phenomenon. Smart men are realizing that Western women have been corrupted and now they're exercising their freedom and traveling to places where women are still women. They want kids. They respect men and value them. They love to serve men and help them with their goals in life. Who doesn't want a woman like that? But according to modern women, you're a pervert or a creep if you travel to Thailand or the Philippines for a wife. It's hilarious to see the kinds of manipulative female control tactics women will try to use on you when you don't act in ways they want. They're freaking out because honestly, they know your value is increasing. This is one of the best things about being a man. As you build your wealth, your fitness and your confidence, your sexual market value increases with age while a woman's decreases. And if you say no to dating in the West and build yourself as a man, if you travel to non-Western countries, you will be a very attractive man. And women don't want that because it would threaten the matriarchy we're living in. Men have been convinced for too long that we live in a patriarchy, when the opposite has been true. Women have been the ones in control for a very long time, and now, men are waking up. Men are realizing that there's no point in approaching Western women because 9 out of 10, it's a complete waste of time at best, and a prison sentence at worst. It's better to build yourself up and approach a woman in a non-Western country. Women are much friendlier there without the toxic feminism. Even if you don't get her number or a date, you'll at least have a genuine conversation. 
this is almost impossible to imagine in the US. Men are realizing something. The power that comes from saying no and walking away from women altogether. In the past, men have had to compete for the attention of women. But today, the system which has worked well for millennia has been corrupted. When you become a man who's capable of sexual discipline, a man who isn't like the other simpy dude sliding into her DMs every 5 seconds, a man who has his balls intact who can find happiness outside of superficial and shallow women. When you step onto the path of becoming a man like this, it becomes addictive. You realize how much of your power you wasted by giving your time and energy to women who didn't deserve it. Working on your hobbies, building your finances, and getting in amazing shape. These are the things that grow you as a man, not chasing thoughts on Instagram. Have some self-respect. Hold the line. Let women tire themselves out trying to be strong, independent boss babes. And when they come crawling back, the power will be where it belongs, in your hands. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you'll get 5 bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.